vision of China. In late August of last year, Huawei introduced its highly anticipated Mate 60 flagship phone, equipped with the Kirin 9000S chip, which stunned the Western world. The release of this phone marked a significant breakthrough in Chinese semiconductor technology, allowing China to produce 7 nanometers chips independently despite US sanctions against Huawei. Yesterday, Huawei announced that the Pura 70 series would go on sale at 10.08 am, featuring the second Chinese-developed Kirin 9010 dual-layer architecture chip and making it clear that this is a 5G phone. Both the Pura 70 Ultra and Pura 70 Pro went on sale at 10.08 am and sold out within approximately one minute. According to reports from China, by 11.40 am at Huawei's global flagship store in Nanshan, Shenzhen, long lines of customers were already waiting to purchase the phones. Regarding pricing, Huawei's online store showed that the Huawei Pura 70 starts at 5,499 yuan, the Huawei Pura 70 Pro starts at 6,499 yuan, the Huawei Pura 70 Pro Plus starts at 7,999 yuan, and the Huawei Pura 70 Ultra starts at 9,999 yuan. Industry experts predict that in 2024, Huawei's global phone shipments could reach around 60 million units. This figure suggests that Huawei may regain market share from Apple and reclaim the top spot in China's smartphone market. Since its inception in 2012, Huawei's P series has captivated tech enthusiasts with its stunning design and exceptional imaging capabilities, consistently receiving praise in the market. This upgrade carries Huawei's expectations for the P series to reach new heights, reflecting Huawei's ambition to compete directly with Apple in the high end market. Chinese sources report that the stock levels for the Pura 70 series were better prepared compared to the last Mate series, with ample supplies available both online and offline and among suppliers, ensuring prompt delivery to customers. In terms of pricing, the P series is gradually aligning with the Mate series. The Pura 70 removed the 8GB plus 256GB configuration and matches the starting price of the Mate 60 at 5,499 yuan. The global smartphone market has been experiencing sluggish growth for several years, with short-term change appearing unlikely. However, there remains substantial growth potential in the mid-to-high-end market, which continues to be the focus of manufacturers' competition. During Huawei's two-year hiatus from the market, Apple dominated the Chinese high-end smartphone market share. But now, with Huawei's return, the situation has changed. According to Connolly's, in the fourth quarter of 2023, Huawei's domestic smartphone shipments reached 10.4 million units, a 47% year-on-year increase, placing the company in the top five domestic smartphone manufacturers, ranking fourth and firmly leading the smartphone market. This momentum has only increased since the beginning of this year. According to a CounterPoint research report, Huawei surged back to the top position in smartphone sales in the first two weeks of 2024 while overall Chinese smartphone sales declined by 7% year-on-year in the first six weeks of 2024. However, Huawei's sales increased by 64%, securing second place with a 17% market share. The report also noted that the Huawei Mate 60 series continued to attract and meet strong market demand, making it one of the few bright spots in the early months of the year. This has undoubtedly put pressure on Apple. According to CounterPoint's projections, the high-end smartphone segment will see a 17% year-on-year growth in 2024, driven by both Huawei and Apple. Huawei's impact on the high-end market is clear. The upgraded Pura 70 will not only contribute significantly to Huawei's resurgence in the Chinese market, but also pose a strong challenge for Apple and other domestic manufacturers in the high-end market. As Huawei returns, the high-end market may become more concentrated. Huawei's impact extends beyond Apple. It also places pressure on other manufacturers in the foldable smartphone niche. Data shows that in the fourth quarter of last year, Huawei led the foldable screen market with a 51.2% share. According to DSCC projections, Huawei is expected to surpass Samsung in foldable smartphone market share in the first and second quarters of 2024. With Huawei's return, Samsung's previous strategy of relying on foldable screens to regain market share in China has faced significant challenges. With brand and price upgrades in the P-Series, Huawei is adapting to market development and may signify a strategic shift for the company. In March 2023, when Huawei launched the P60 series, 
Huawei Terminal BGCOO He Gang stated that the spring launch of the Huawei P60 series indicated a return to a normal release schedule for Huawei's flagship phones. This statement was supported by the subsequent releases of both the P series and the Mate series. He Gang also mentioned that Huawei would not give up on overseas markets, which could include the European market, where Huawei previously had a significant market share. It is well known that smartphone growth in Western markets is also focused on high-end flagship models. The Pura 70 series may become a pivotal battle in Huawei's return to the top of the smartphone market. The sudden launch of the Mate 60 series last August caught the market off guard, and production initially struggled to keep up with demand. However, the situation has since improved. With Huawei finding its rhythm, the Chinese high-end smartphone market is likely to undergo significant changes. Examining brand and product value through the lens of the secondary market and the scalper market can provide valuable insights. Apple and Huawei have always been highly resistant to depreciation in the secondary market and are considered valuable by scalpers. To combat scalper reselling and protect personal consumer demand, Huawei is limiting individuals to reserving one Huawei Pura 70 series phone each, regardless of model, configuration, or color, and requiring a valid ID for reservations. Consumer recognition of Huawei can be attributed to its strong brand image and high-quality products. Multiple bloggers and users have tested the new products and found them to have many noteworthy features. First, the new camera design is quite striking. Imaging has always been the standout feature of the P-Series. According to the official website, the Pura 70 Series camera module abandons the traditional square design of previous P-Series models in favor of a signature triangular structure that sets it apart from other brands. The Ultra model also features a 1-inch sensor and a rotating periscope lens, a first for Huawei in a smartphone. Additionally, both the Ultra and Pro models support high-speed flash photography and an upgraded macro telephoto feature. The phone's new imaging system is expected to bring significant breakthroughs. In addition to hardware upgrades, the Huawei Pura 70 series is equipped with the new Harmony OS 4.2, introducing AI-based features such as AI removal, AI cloud enhancement, and AI touchless control. For the P-Series, known for its imaging capabilities, these upgrades align with the series positioning and keep pace with the AI imaging trend. The P70 series also features Huawei's self-developed Pengu model, which significantly enhances AI photography and other functions such as voice assistant, text generation, and image and video creation, taking intelligence to the next level. Other features like Kunlun Glass and satellite communication have also been previously applied in other Huawei products. Benefiting from the strong comeback of the Huawei Mate 60 series, Huawei's terminal business, including smartphones, experienced significant revenue growth in 2023, with sales revenue reaching 251.5 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 17.3%, becoming a driving force for Huawei's performance growth. On March 30th, Huawei released its 2023 financial report, showing that Huawei achieved revenue of 704.2 billion yuan in 2023, a year-on-year -year increase of 9.6%, net profit reached 87 billion yuan, a significant increase of 144% year-on-year. The release of the new products this time could further drive the growth of Huawei's smart terminal business. With the Mate 60 series released last year, Huawei managed to bring its smartphone business back on track and successfully entered the top five market share rankings in the first quarter of this year. Public data indicates that Huawei surpassed Samsung in global foldable screen market share in the first quarter of 2024, largely thanks to the exceptional performance of the Huawei Mate X5 and Huawei Pocket 2. This marks the first time that Huawei has surpassed Samsung in the foldable screen market. Tianfeng International Securities Analyst Guo Mingji predicted that compared to the P60 series released in 2023, the P70 series is expected to see significant growth in shipments in 2024, and it could very well return to the market's top tier this year. With the launch of the Huawei Pura 70 series and the anticipated release of the Mate 70 series in the second half of the year, Huawei is poised to accelerate its resurgence in the high-end market. The Pura 70 series has ignited the market, with high demand making the phones hard to come by. Given the level of enthusiasm, Huawei's ability to achieve its goals seems highly likely.